Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen, to today's fitness challenge coming to you from Revision Training. My name is Tyler Marin, and I will be your instructor for today. We've got bringing it back to the back. We've got a workout plan for you targeting the glutes, the back, everything that is going to keep us upright and work on good posture. You guys are going to really like this workout. I'm excited for this one. So stay with me. Let me introduce myself to you real quick. Like I said, my name is Tyler. I am owner of Revision Training LLC, where our vision, our project is to bring fitness to everybody, visually impaired and sighted alike. So accessibility is our number one component. So if you're sighted, you're watching this video, you should be able to get a clear view of me and everything that I'm doing today. If you are visually impaired, you're not able to see the screen, don't worry about it. You will be able to follow along. I'm gonna give you great audio descriptions. Everything that I'm doing, I'm gonna describe. So you should be able to follow us in the workout, no problem. Today's workout is going to be kind of an intermediate level workout, but lots of variation, lots of movements that you can mix in to make it a little tougher, a little bit easier. So appropriate for anybody. I like this workout because I'm a big believer in posterior chain strength, right? So we spend a lot of time in the gym, we're working on our quads, working on our belly, uh, working on our chest, working on our biceps. Why? Well, because most of us, but most of us can see those muscles in the mirror, right? So we wanna see how we're looking. We don't tend to think so much about our back, our glutes, our hamstrings, but those muscles are so crucial for overall body health, overall athleticism. You're gonna thank yourself for doing this type of workout. It's gonna help in a lot of ways. We've got an 18 round circuit training format today. We're gonna to do a total of six exercises. I'm gonna show all of those exercises to you. Very, very simple, very straightforward, but challenging to perform. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight to it. So there are three exercises that are gonna be belly down and three exercises that we're gonna do either face up or on our side. So I'll walk you guys through that. So the three exercises, belly down, I'm on a yoga mat. Um, so you guys find a comfortable surface for yourself. Make sure that you're well padded and protecting yourself. You should always make sure that you're taking good care of your body during any of these types of workouts. We've got Y, T, W extensions. Okay, so those are three different moves. A Y extension, I'm on my belly, I'm looking towards the floor. Okay, so I'm pointing my nose down, but I'm lifting my head up. I'm not putting my nose on the floor. The tops of my feet, my thighs, my belly, chest, arms are extended out over my head. So if I was laying on a clock face, my head pointed towards 12 o'clock, my feet towards six, I'm reaching my hands up towards 12 o'clock. My elbows are pretty much straight up over my head. Hands and palms resting on the floor. Now to do a Y extension, I'm going to just lift my hands, elbows, shoulders, chest up just about six inches or so, and then come back down. All right, so my chest raises up just a little bit off the floor as I bring my shoulders and arms up. You can keep your feet on the floor. You can also raise your heels up. This is also called a Superman extension. So you kind of like Superman flying through the air with your arms out in front of you. So either way is fine. Heels come up or you can leave your heels on the ground. That's gonna target a little bit more of the upper back muscles. When your heels come up, you're gonna get a little more towards the lower back. The T extensions. Now we're gonna extend the arms out to the side like a capital T. Let me just adjust my mat real quick here. So Y extension, arms straight out overhead. Your body kind of looks like a capital Y shape with your arms open just slightly. T extension, arms straight out to the side. So now you look like a big capital T. Same thing, you're gonna lift your head, your shoulders, arms kind of squeeze back and then lower down. Lift up, squeeze back and lower down. So this whole time, again, I'm looking towards the floor. I'm not looking at the wall ahead of me because it's gonna put a big arch in my neck. I don't wanna do that. Looking down as you squeeze back and lift up, okay? W, so now pull your elbows into your side, put your hands on the floor right underneath where your kind of shoulders, chest area is. So my hands are just on the outside of my chest by my shoulders. Now I'm gonna lift up with my elbows pulled into my side. So elbows and the back of your hands drive up towards the ceiling, high as we can. When you do this move, 
You kind of think about squeezing your shoulder blades back and drawing them down, almost trying to put your shoulder blades in your back pockets. It's gonna activate the traps and rhomboids and some of those smaller stabilizer muscles. Good, so those are the first three exercises. Next one, we're gonna kind of mix these in and I'll give you guys the cadence as we go. We're gonna be laying on your back and doing a single leg hip bridge. So feet are flat on the floor, um, knees are bent, pointed up towards the ceiling. I've got my heels about six inches away from my buttocks and my feet, my knees and my hips are all the same distance apart, right? So my knees are about six inches apart and my feet are about six inches apart. You, if you have them close together, that's not gonna hurt you, but a little bit wider base is typically better for balance. On your back, arms are straight at your sides, palms on the floor. I'm gonna take one foot, I'm gonna raise it up as high as I can. So I'm straightening my left leg, I'm gonna keep my right foot on the floor. And then in this starting position, now to do the exercise, I'm gonna push my right foot into the floor as I lift my hips off the ground and push the bottom of my foot to the ceiling as high as I can. And then come back down, push back up, come back down, push back up. This is a single leg hip bridge. So my shoulders, my head, my arms all stay in contact with the floor. My right foot stays in contact with the floor, but my left leg is up in the air and I'm driving my hips up off the ground. Okay, perfect. Next one. We are going to, okay, I'm gonna have to cut this part out. Next one, we are going to clamshells. So laying on your side for this one, I'm facing towards you guys. Kind of the same idea here where um, my left leg is on top, I'm laying on my right side. I'm gonna bend my knees, I'm gonna bring my heels up towards my buttocks about six inches away from me, okay? My knees are out in front of me. Now with your head, you can have your head resting on your hand, on your arm. You can actually grab a pillow or something if you want that to prop up your head, that's okay. One of the few times I'll tell you it's okay to have a pillow during your workout. <laughs> so if you wanna take advantage of that, that's fine. Laying on my side, we're gonna do a clamshell movement. So how this works, you're gonna keep your toes and your heels together and you're gonna open your legs up. You're gonna take your left knee and push it up towards the ceiling, turn it and point it up towards the ceiling. So my heels and my toes are still together, but now my knees are open. My right leg is still on the ground, but my left knee now is pointed towards the ceiling. That's the first move, opening up the legs. Now I'm gonna drive my left knee up to the ceiling, so I'm separating my feet just about six inches as I push my left knee up. Key factor here, so I'm gonna bring my leg back down. Try not to lean back and point your chest up towards the ceiling. You wanna stay on your side, pointed straight at you guys. I'm gonna open my leg up and then drive it up to the ceiling and back down. Open and up and down. Open, up and down, okay? So it's kind of two distinct movements. Feet stay together as you open the knees up and then your feet separate just a little bit as you drive that top knee up towards the ceiling just a few inches and then back down, okay? Now very last one, we're gonna jump into this workout. This one can be a little bit tricky, so guys, find whatever modification works for you. We're gonna do a side plank. So instead of being down on my ribs, being all the way down on my side, I'm actually gonna prop myself up. My right elbow is directly underneath my right shoulder. And in this position, what I'm gonna do here top hand on my uh, hip, I'm gonna bend my knees. So right now my legs are straight out. I'm laid kind of like long way on the yoga mat. I'm gonna bend both of my knees, but instead of putting them out in front of me like I did with the clamshell, I'm gonna push my feet back behind me. So my knees are still in line with my hips and shoulders and my feet are pointed back behind me towards six o'clock, right? If I'm looking at you guys at 12 o'clock, my feet are way back behind me. Now from this position, I can push my right elbow into the floor, put my weight on my bottom leg and lift my hips up off the ground. This is a side plank. This is called a short plank because my knees are bent. So the weight's kind of down on my right forearm and on my bottom leg by my knee. This is fine. If you guys want to stay here for the duration of the 45 seconds, cool. What I'm going to do now 
is I'm gonna straighten my top leg, okay, so that my top leg is pointed towards nine o'clock, my head is towards three o'clock, my chest pointed towards you guys towards 12 o'clock, my bottom foot back towards six o'clock behind me. My top leg is straight now, I'm gonna lift it up and put it back down. Lift it up and put it back down. All right, so I'm not putting it out in front of me towards you guys, I've got it just extended, my knee is straight and it's straight down from, from my body. So as I'm holding myself up in this side plank position, my hips are up and forward, I'm just pulsing that leg up and bringing it back down. My hips aren't moving, I'm not dropping my hips down and lifting them back up. Hips stay right where they are as you lift that top leg up and bring it back down. So definitely a tough maneuver, but something I think that you guys are capable of. Modify to whatever feels good. If you'd want to do one for a minute and then go back to another version, totally fine. Exercise is all about modification. We've talked about that in other videos. You modify to make an exercise easier or you modify to make it harder, whatever works for you. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna get our timer started. We've got 18 rounds, 45 seconds a piece with a 15 second rest in between. So you guys get yourself set up. Let's get ready to go. And we are going to get it going. Okay, we're starting off with Y extension. So you're on your belly, arms straight out over your head. We're gonna go Y extensions and then we'll jump to our single leg hip bridge from there. We'll kind of mix in the other exercises. Just follow my cue, no worries guys. On your bellies, arms out over your head. Let's go ahead and start in three, two, one, and go. So, Y extensions, arms out, lift and come down. Lift and come down. So I've got my nose pointed towards the floor. My arms are straight out over my head as far as I can get them, trying to really reach my arms out there. Palms towards the floor. I lift up, squeeze a little at the top and come back down. Working on that posterior chain. Working on the lower back. I'm keeping the tops of my feet on the floor this time. I think next round I'll do the, the heel lift with it. Just kind of get a little variety that way. Squeeze and lift. Ooh, it's starting to burn already. Squeeze and lift. We got 45 seconds, guys. Oh, almost done. Perfect. Okay. Now, flip over to your back. We're going single leg hip bridge. I'm going to start with my right foot on the floor. Doesn't matter. Whichever's clever for you guys. Right foot on the floor, left foot straight up in the air, and go. Drive the heels up and down. Drive the heel up and down. Hips come up high and back down. Squeeze and lift and back down. So I'm kind of keeping like a moderate pace here. I'm not going super fast. I'm trying to really focus on driving my hips up hard, right? You could go really fast with this. You'd be like up, down, up, down. But you're not gonna get a good range of motion that way. I want you to squeeze and lift, drive up hard. Squeeze and lift, drive up hard. Activate those glutes, right? Push the hips up. Hold it steady, good. Breathing while we're doing this. Arms are on the floor at your side, bottom of your foot, driving up towards the ceiling. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and switch my feet. So we're staying with this exercise. We've got two sides. My left foot's on the floor now, right foot straight up in the air, and we're gonna go again. Two, one, and go. Push it up and down. Squeeze up and down. You might also find that you have one side that's a little stronger than the other, okay? You have a more dominant leg, more dominant glute. That's why we like to do these single leg movements, right? Stretch one side, stretch the other. Lift with one side, lift with the other. So that we're equalizing the two halves of the body as much as we possibly can. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift, drive it up. Now, if this is super tough, guys, you can always put your top foot back down. We can go double leg if you really want to. That's okay, too. Flip back over to your belly. We're going T extensions now. Down, eyes towards the floor, arms straight out to your side. Get set and lift. Squeeze up and down. Squeeze up and down. Up and down. I like making a fist while I do this. 
you don't have to. You can have your hands open. I think a fist just, I don't know, gets me in the right mood <laughs> to do the exercise. Squeeze up and down. Now for this one, I'm still keeping my feet on the floor, but I've kind of got my, my toes dug into the floor instead of the tops of my feet. Just a different way you can position yourself. It's kind of whatever, whatever works for you with the lower half. But again, don't, don't look up at the wall in front of you. Keep your nose pointed towards the floor and drive your head up as you squeeze back. Perfect. Okay, guys, we've got clamshells. So I'm gonna be laying on my side facing towards you guys. Get yourselves ready. Feet together, close to your buttocks, knees in front of you. Open the legs up and drive up and back down. Open the knees up, drive up and back down. So when you open up, it's almost like a book, right? Your feet and your toes stay together and you're opening up like a book. And then you separate your feet as you push your knee up towards the ceiling. Now make sure you're not leaning back, okay? Don't point your chest up towards the ceiling. If anything, turn a little forward so that you're almost pointing your chest a little more towards the floor. Not a lot, but just enough to kind of keep you in good alignment. That'll make sure we're activating the piriformis, activating the glute minimus, all those good muscles back there that we want to really dig into. Almost there, guys. Perfect. All right. Flip over. Let's go other side. Want to be well cooked on all sides here. Knees in front. Bring those heels in. Get set. And go. Open like a book. And then drive the knee up towards the ceiling. So my knees are out in front of me. Open like a book. Drive the knee up. Now as I do this, another little tip for you. You can also give yourself a little more resistance by putting that free hand, your top hand, on your knee that you're moving and give yourself a little extra resistance. You can kind of push down on your knee as you lift it up and drive it up. Give yourself a little extra weight and resistance. If you get real fancy schmancy, you can grab some resistance bands. We'll have that mixed into future workouts. that give you a really good burn in those glutes. You guys wanna get some good glutes going, this is the way to do it. Perfect, okay. We're on your belly for Y, X, I'm sorry, W. YTW's W, elbows at your side, belly down, palms on the floor, right by your shoulders. Set and lift, squeeze and down, squeeze and down. Again, I'm keeping my feet on the floor. I'm going tops of my feet this time. Looking down at the ground, Try to put your shoulder blades in your back pocket. Squeeze and drive back. You're driving your elbows and the back of your hands up towards the ceiling as high as you can, keeping your elbows in close to your ribs, okay? Your elbows and your hands should essentially be at the same height through the whole thing, right? So as your elbows come up, your hands are about at the same level, and you squeeze and pull back. Squeeze and pull back. Good. Great for the postural muscles, help you stand up nice and tall. Perfect, okay. Now, the scary one. We're going modified side plank. I'm gonna roll up the edge of my yoga mat just a little bit, kind of extra padding for myself. I just rolled it up a couple times. I'm on my right side, I'm up. I'm gonna lift my left leg, put it back down. Lift my left leg, put it back down. So again, nothing is moving here, just my top straight leg, okay? I lift it up about, foot and a half, two feet, and then bring it back down, just kind of tap my toe on the floor and drive back up. My hips, try to squeeze and lift, push your hips forward as much as you can. Keep your hips up. If you let your hips kind of sag back and down, we're losing some of the exercise. Now, if this leg extension is too tough, that's okay. Bend your knee, put it with the other one, okay? So both legs are in, in place, now together supporting your movement. And even there, if it's a little tough, you can take your top hand and put it on the floor for a little extra support. All right, I'm gonna flip to the other side now. So different ways that we can modify this stuff, guys. It's all about finding the level that works for you. Set and go. And I am sweating already. <laughs> it's not a bad workout. Squeeze and lift. 
your glutes, your back. It's where all your power comes from. I'm talking to you out there right now, fellas. Looking at this going like, oh, I don't know, kind of some girly moves that we're doing here. I'm telling you, these glutes and those back muscles, it's where all your power comes from. It's all, all of your athleticism. That's where it comes in. You want to make sure that your glutes are strong and you'll thank yourself for doing this. You mitigate a lot of back issues, things that we don't need to be dealing with. Woo, almost done. Come on. A couple more and good. Okay. We are back to our Y extensions. Down on your belly, guys. That's nine rounds. We got nine more. Arms out like Superman. Nose towards the floor. And lift and down. I'm gonna do a heel raise on this one. So as my hands and elbows come up, I'm lifting my feet off the ground. My knees and feet come up too. So as I'm at the top, I mean, my belly, a little bit of my chest, a little bit of my hips are touching the ground. Everything else I'm kind of like squeezing and lifting several inches up. Keeping your nose pointed towards the floor. Squeeze and lift. Good guys, come on. Keep it going, squeeze and lift. Feel that burn back in the shoulders into the back. Good, almost done. And perfect, go ahead and flip over on your back, single leg hip bridges. I'm gonna go left leg up in the air first. Why not? Sounds great to me. Right foot on the floor, left leg straight up and go. Drive up and down, drive up and down. Now again, if this is a little tough, if this single leg movement's a little hard, go ahead and go both feet on the floor. That's all right with me. If this is a little easy, doing the single leg movement, here's a little flare we can add. Instead of your bottom foot just being flat on the floor, raise up on your toes on that bottom leg. Work a little bit into the calves as well as the hamstrings. So now I've got my heel off the ground, I'm driving up. The only thing touching the ground, I've got my back, my shoulders and arms, head, my lower back, my hips, everything else is driving up just the ball of my foot at the bottom there. And good, okay, perfect. Switch legs. Whew. Feeling good. This little bit of rest, this 15 seconds of rest goes pretty quick. Good, keep our heart rate up while we're doing this work. Set and go. Okay, lifting up. I'm gonna come up on my toe again. Make it a little tougher on this side. Good, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift. Making sure that again, at the top, hold it, squeeze it at the top. Don't just kind of pop your hips up and set them back down. Really drive up hard to activate those glutes, the big glute muscles. Whew, burning. Come on, push it up guys, we're not done yet. Got a few more seconds, almost there. Bottom of the foot, driving up to the ceiling. Two, one, and good, okay. Flipping back over to your belly, we've got T extensions. Capital T. On the belly, arms straight out to the side. I'm making a fist. And we lift, and down. Lift, and down. And again, I'm watching the floor. Got my nose pointed towards the floor, but I'm pushing the back of my head to the ceiling as high as I can. I'm gonna do my heel lifts on this one again. So as my arms and shoulders, chest come up, I'm lifting my feet and knees off the ground as well. Keeping my knees straight though. I'm not like bending my knees and driving them up in the air. Keeping the legs straight, the knees straight, elbows straight. Just trying to make it all in the core. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. <sighs> Almost there, guys, come on. A few more seconds, and perfect, okay. All right, clamshells. I'm laying on my side, got my feet close together, heels close to my buttocks, knees out in front of me, laying down on my right shoulder, and go open like a book, drive the knee up to the ceiling. Open like a book, drive the knee up to the ceiling, just a couple inches. Doesn't have to go, doesn't have to go super high. 
got my top hand on my leg, my left hand on my left knee as I lift that left knee up, kind of pushing down a little bit with my right hand. I'm gonna lean forward just a little bit more, make sure I'm not leaning back too far because I really want to activate the right muscles. You lean back and you're gonna start making it more of a hip flexor move. We don't want that, we wanna keep it into the glutes. Not that it's bad to work the hip flexors, we're just not there right now. We've got other goals in life. <laughs> All right, good. Flip it over, flip it over. Hope you guys are feeling this, feeling this burn. Bend the knees, put the knees out in front, heels close to your buttocks, and go. Open up like a book, drive to the ceiling. Open like a book, drive to the ceiling. Good. Target those stabilizer muscles in the hips. Make you better, make you stronger. Balance is better, coordination is better. And it's not just for athleticism, guys. This is for activities of daily living. You move around the house, you reach down to pick things up, picking up laundry baskets and taking out the garbage and things like that. You need strong, active glutes. If they're not working the way they're supposed to, then that stress goes into your back and it goes into other places where it shouldn't. All right, so we need to do these to take good care of the body. Almost done. And bam, there it is. Okay. W extensions, we're on our belly. Almost done, kids. Elbows in at your side, nose towards the floor. No quitting on me yet, stay with it. Set and lift. I'm gonna do my heel raise on this one too, so. Hands, elbows, chest, knees, feet all raise up and then come back down. Everything raises up, comes back down. And remember, folks, this should be just some muscle ache. You should really feel this in the muscles in your shoulders and the muscles in your you know, lower back. There should not be any sharp pain. If you're doing any of these movements in any workout video we ever do, and you're like, ooh, my left knee really hurts or that's really making it painful in my back. Stop and make sure that you check your positioning, check with your physician, but everything should just be good, achy muscle burn right now. Perfect, okay. Last exercise. We got two sets, left and right. We got a modified side plank with leg lift. I'm gonna roll up the end of my mat here. Just kind of fold it over a couple times, give me a little extra padding. And we're up and lift down and lift. So again, I'm adding in this side plank leg lift. This is a little more advanced. This is more, try it if you would like. If you wanna do a regular side plank, I'm gonna tell you with that too. Just do what you can. I like this one though. And with the bottom leg bent, the top leg straight, kind of targeting some different muscle groups. With the bent leg, we're getting a little bit more into the glute maximus, the top leg straight, a little more glute minimus. <sighs> wow. Boy, am I feeling this though. Okay, I'm back up. I'm up in it. Not quitting yet. Hips forward, hips forward, up, and good. Okay, we're flipping. Last one. Last one and we're done. Come on guys, stay with me. Give me the best you can here. Last one, best one. I'm set. Hips up, modified side plank, leg lift, leg lift, leg lift. Oh, it burns. It burns good. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm back in. Come on, guys. Come on, we're almost done. Ah, say we got about 15 seconds, let's go. Hips up, forward. Come on, fight it. Stay with it as best you can. Best you can, we're not done yet. Got a little bit more. Uh, I'm breathing, 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 and go. A few more, two, one, and good. Woo, that's it, fellas, ladies. You made it, you made it, you made it. Now, this workout, Again, something you could come back to multiple, multiple times. Very, very, very good for you. Build up that posterior chain. We've done so much with, with strength. We've done core, we've done all kinds of stuff, cardio. 
your body is an impressive machine and it moves in a lot of planes. It does a lot of different things. So we want to have some of this variety to build up the strength and the quality of our body in all areas. Thank you guys for sticking with me on this workout. Please, please, please give me a, a like, thumbs up, a share, a comment. You do those things and it helps out so much because there's a lot of people out there who are looking for this kind of resource, a community like we're building, and I really need you guys to help me get the word out. So be sure to share this, comment on it, give me a thumbs up. I would so appreciate it. And from Revision Training, let's change the way we look at it. You guys make it a strong day.